seas are you? Did a mother still? Did a mother still? Right, so guys, welcome to one last video regarding KSI and Logan Paul. Uh, we, we've crammed in as many as we can in a short amount of time. Uh, today we're just going to be uh, uh, sort of re-predicting the fight. Uh, if you are new, don't forget to like and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. And uh, we're going to start with a preview, so let's get into it. So obviously Logan came in at 199.4, uh, it's very heavy, it's uh, almost a stone heavier than what he was for the last fight and he gassed out in the last fight, will his cardio be up to scratch, we're, we're not sure to last 6 rounds but one thing for sure, I don't think he'll come for as explosive as I was originally thinking, I think I think he'll be durable enough to last 4 or 5 rounds but I can still see KSI having 6 round stamina and he, he does look in great shape KSI. But he does come in six pounds lighter, and that could work against him if he takes a few shots, but he will also be more agile, which will benefit him in some aspects. We're going to move on to press conferences next. So during the press conferences, especially this week, KSI has been very on edge, and he feels like he could snap at any moment. He has a few times. He's been saying stuff a lot more of his chest instead of just jokingly, and that could be an impact. It could be thoughts playing on his mind about the fight. It's only it's only natural to be anxious about it, I guess. But he's a lot he's not less confident, but he seems a lot more on edge. It seems as if Logan has got in his head slightly, as shown with the push earlier on. And in general, it seems like Team Maverick have got into KSI's head and Vidal's, because obviously Shannon Briggs earlier. I did highlight this footage in my weigh-in and press conference video, but he he's crazy. But he knows exactly what to do to push people but people's buttons and. It's shown here, did he know it's Vidal's cousin? We're not sure. Did he just hit a stranger most likely? But he, he did hit Vidal's cousin, which sent Vidal absolutely loopy. And he's been held back by about five guards or else he would have fought Shannon Briggs there. And then that will play on their mind in the fight, I think. Because I don't see there's any way after this, Vidal has just sat at home and resorted back to normal form. He's usually the coolest man in the room, but he has snapped on this occasion. Will that have an impact, especially on fight night when they see each other across the ring? Who knows? So I am boldly not going to change my decision, my prediction is going to remain the same, I think KSI will edge it even though there's been a few factors this week which now instead of a 60-40-70-30 fight I see this as 50-50, I'm just going to go with JJ based on a few factors boxing wise, if he has improved his technique uh, with the stamina he possesses, the superhuman stamina in some ways, I can see him reigning victorious, uh, but it's, it's going to be an insane fight. It's literally 50-50, like I said 10 seconds ago, and I can't wait. I'm, I'm waking up early to watch it, so I should have a reaction coming out early tomorrow. But for one last time, do you agree with our points regarding us for this fight? Let us know in the comments below. And yeah, one last time, if you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to drop a like. Any subscriptions would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching, and peace.